Despite not being well known for this, the African continent has more than 100 active volcanoes. Of these, four are erupting right now, all of which happen to be part of a large province known as the East African Rift Zone. This rift zone stretches from Mozambique to Eritrea and is highly geologically active. The most active portion of this massive province is a triangular-shaped stretch of land that spans sections of Somalia, Ethiopia, Eritrea, and Djibouti. Known as the Afar Triangle, it contains some of the planet's largest known Holocene lava fields such as the massive Erta Ale volcano which often contains two lava lakes and highly explosive silica-rich volcanoes with large calderas such as the Nambro volcano. However, sometimes volcanoes can produce both low silica effusive eruptions and high silica explosive eruptions with very little rock compositionally between the two. Such volcanoes are referred to as bimodal, and the Dubi volcano in Eritrea is one example of this. Dubi contains both lava domes from viscous lava and incredibly large volume and lengthy basaltic lava flows. Dubi's most famous eruption occurred in 1861 and was one of Africa's deadliest. It resulted in between 100 and 200 casualties, created lengthy pyroclastic flows, caused roofs in several settlements to collapse, ash fell more than 150 miles away, and 180 square kilometers of land was covered in fresh lava flows. The outlines of the lava flows from that eruption are outlined in red, where individual flows of material traveled up to 25 kilometers or 16 miles from its source. For context, the Dubi volcano is located in central eastern Eritrea, where it is 120 kilometers west-northwest of the city of Aseb. Located within the Afar Triangle, the Dubi volcano is located on the Danakil microplate. At this triple junction, the crust is spreading apart in three directions. This creates a series of rift zones in the crust, and due to this thinning, it causes upwelling of the mantle, allowing for magma to erupt onto the surface. Dubi is located along the northeast trending line of highly silica-rich volcanoes which erupt quite explosively and all have large calderas. All that is, except Dubi, which one day, if the pattern continues, might also be the site of a large caldera. The Dubi volcano covers a vast expanse of Eritrea's coastline, totaling an area of about 1900 square kilometers. This might not be immediately obvious until I turn on elevation data revealing that some areas are covered by more than 100 meters thick of lava and ash. This area encompasses a lava dome complex which contains an overlapping cluster of tuff rings which might represent the oldest vents in the field, cinder cones, the central Duby stratovolcano, and a series of several volcanic islands in the Red Sea. Although the exact age of the Duby stratovolcano is unclear, if its eruptive rate has been consistent with the volume of eruptive deposits it produced in the last 300 years, then the volcano may only be 20,000 years old. Much like the Hecla volcano, it erupted along a 5,500 meter long central fissure, building a group of closely spaced volcanic cones along a straight line. While this was occurring, large eruptions also occurred at more distant vents, likely also representing weak points in the crust, forming cinder cones which also often formed in northeast trending chains. One such eruption likely occurred in 1400, sending lava flows into the Red Sea. Although only two eruptions are known from this volcano in the last 10,000 years, the number of barely eroded cinder cones it has is 5, suggesting that the true frequency of eruptions at this volcano is much higher. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my Grandidiorite tier patron, Justin, for requesting this video's topic.